Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make this beaded crochet necklace. Alright, so you're going to need a spool of embroidery floss and this is pearl cotton embroidery floss and I just grabbed a whole spool at Michael's. You'll need some assorted beads and these are all pretty small except for those round ones are a little bit bigger. You'll also need a needle that will fit through the beads, a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and if you want, you can have some glue just in case you want to make the knots a little more secure. So to start, we're going to thread our embroidery floss onto our needle. And we're not cutting it. We're just leaving it straight from the spool. And the good thing is, if you have a whole spool of it, you don't have to worry about running out. You'll be in really good shape. So for my necklace, I used one of these larger beads to make the closure. And then I use the smaller beads for the main part. And I'll show you, this is how I did the closure. You just make a little loop and then you have that larger bead at the end that just hold, goes through the loop and it holds it in place. So just go ahead and start threading on your beads in the, the uh, order that you want them for your necklace. And you see my poor camera was having a heck of a time trying to figure out what to focus on here. But um, just I decided to just do a wood bead and then I did a light, a medium, and a dark of these teal beads. And I just repeated that until I had 76 beads all together. So you don't have to do exactly 76. You can do really as many as you want. Then I threaded a large bead on at the end. And here's how it looked at this point. Okay, now we're going to make a slip knot. So just wrap it around your fingers, insert your crochet hook, pull up a loop, then take the loop off your fingers and pull the two ends to tighten up the knot, and then pull the long end to tighten it up to your hook. Now we're going to slide the large bead up by our hook. So just slide it all the way up until it's against your hook and you're going to yarn over and make a chain. So all this is is just making a crochet chain for the whole necklace. So just pull it through like that and now we have our large bead attached. Now we're going to make six chains. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to grab your first regular bead of your actual necklace part. And you're just going to do it again. So yarn over and make a chain to attach the bead. Then in between each bead, we're going to do five chains. So one, two, three, four, and five. And you can do as many as you want. This is just what I decided to do. Then you're going to grab your next bead and do another chain to attach it. And then do five more chains. And that's all there is to the actual making of this crochet part of this necklace. It's really, really simple. And you can vary it a lot by doing different amounts of chains in between and by using different types of beads and different shapes and sizes and different colors. So you can really get creative with this one. Here's how it looks after I've gotten a few of the beads on. You can see we're getting this nice pattern here. So you're just going to continue doing this until you have all of your beads attached. And that's the beauty of leaving the thread attached to the spool is you can make it as long as you want. All you have to do is add more beads if you want to make it longer. So here I am attaching my very last bead. I'm just attaching it like I did before. And now we're going to go ahead and do six chains. And now we've got six. Now we're going to do 10 more chains. All right, now we have 10 more chains on top of our six. So you're going to count back 10 chains from your hook. 
Now when you find the 10th chain, you're going to insert your hook into the 10th one. And then we're going to yarn over and make a slip knot into that chain. So just insert your hook, yarn over, and pull it through both of the loops to make a slip knot. And this will form our loop that we're going to use to close up our necklace. See, here's our little loop. So now to make this a little more secure, we're going to slip stitch into two or three more stitches just to kind of make it a little more secure. So in the next stitch, you're just going to do that same thing. Insert your hook and then yarn over and pull it through both loops. And then I did it again. And then one more time just for good measure. And I'm sorry, I kind of got off screen here, but I'm just pulling it through both loops on my hook. And that is how it'll look. So now just pull that loop up a bit and we're going to cut the yarn, leaving a bit of a tail and then just pull that loop out to finish off that stitch. And now we're going to thread that end onto our needle again. And we're going to tie a knot here to secure the end of our yarn. So just, I just went through one of the chains right next to where my yarn's coming or my thread's coming out and went straight through. And then I just made a loop and tied a regular knot like you would do when you're sewing or something. I tightened that up and then I tied one more knot just to be safe. I usually probably tie more knots than I need to, but I'm always afraid it's going to come undone. And then I just used my needle to make sure my knot went where I wanted it to here, pulled it down by the, the stitches and pulled it really good and tight. And now I am going to um, just weave this end up through the, the part underneath the loop there, just so that, that I can kind of weave the end in and then cut it off so it's not cut too close to the knot. And if you want to, you could add a little dab of glue here to secure your ends. It would probably be a good idea. I didn't, and mine has not had any issue with coming undone as of yet. So that's really up to you. And then just cut the end, and then this is our little loop. All right, now on the other side, we're going to thread that end onto our needle as well. And then I'm just wanted to make it extra secure. It's pretty secure over here already, but just to be safe, like I said, I probably tie too many knots. I just went through that loop and tied another knot. I just made a little loop and inserted the needle through and tightened it up. And then you can just run the needle through each um, loop or through each chain going back and forth to uh, weave the end in, sort of. I just did that on all the um, chains between this bead and the next bead, just going back and forth, and then just cut off the excess thread. And again, if you want, you can add a dab of glue over here just to make it a little more secure. But as of now, I haven't had any issues with unraveling, so I think it's good. Then just cut off your excess cord and now you can just loop that bead through the loop we made and it holds really well. Now this necklace is finished and you can also use it as a bracelet. I actually really like wearing it as a bracelet because I'm not a big necklace person, but you can wrap it around your wrist a bunch of times and you see it looks really nice like that. I think it's really pretty. Um, the finished necklace that I made here ended up being 24 inches whenever it was doubled over. So it's definitely long enough to double it up and wear it as a necklace with two layers. You can actually triple this one up as well and wear it as like a choker style. And it is long enough for that too. So you can really make it as long as you want. You see this first one I made is a little bit shorter. So you can really have fun with this and get creative. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please leave a like comment and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching!